Saturday, August 26th, Sunday, August 27th, TRP weekend, uh, live show star Mona, after party, Mona, the whole Don't Call Me White Girl crew was popping out with us at Reserve. Make sure y'all there for that. Um, and then Sunday, we got TRP Nation brunch. Tickets are starting to actually pick up for that. So shout out to everybody that got y'all tickets already. Go to officialtrpe.com. Grab your tickets to everything. We want to see y'all in attendance in the building, man. Shout out to 14th and Margaret for sponsoring the whole situation and empowering us to do what we do. If you're not on Patreon, get on Patreon right now. Seven-day free trial on the VIP tier. Patreon.com slash official TRP. What it do, baby? We back, man. It's the realest podcast ever. I'm your host, C. Diddy. Y'all know who the fuck I am. Not, there's no nothing here. It's throwing me off. It's throwing me off. It's throwing me off, man. We got a little but bit of a... Right then, do I even have to sit? I can go over there. I'm going to the kitchen. So <laughs> Make a grilled cheese. I'm going to warm my pizza. Yeah, it's like a whole mm. new world. So, uh, we, 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 we too loud? Yeah. All right, cool. Uh, how about now? Yeah, good. Good. All right, cool. So this is like a whole new world here. Uh, we're recording with the uh, with the wireless lavalier mics, man. Dan got this whole thing jerry rigged to where it's like, you know, he, he said it's working. I'm gonna take his word for it that it's working. Ain't, ain't, no telling. <laughs> ain't no telling. You know what I'm saying? Y'all gonna let us know. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I'm mean? gonna Jules gonna be the first one listening to the show about midnight, 12, 12 03. <laughs> what the fuck is going on with the sound? Like. Yeah, we are back, man. Um, to you know, once Lord, again, the realest Lord, podcast Lord. ever. A lot of different hot topics, man. Uh, before we get into these topics and stuff, we got a, we got an event coming up. We got about two weeks left before set event, and uh, we like y'all to be there. So, with that being said, go to official trp. We need y'all to be. Yeah, we need y'all in the test. Let's just be frank. Yeah, let's let's let's, let's keep it a buck. You right. know what I'm saying? We need y'all to be. There. I'm, I'm telling Pico, listen, man. <laughs> All right, 29th. I got you. Maybe the 30th. Maybe the 30th. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm out here working Some, on some things. Somewhere in that 29th, 4th area, you know what I'm saying? We be That like, little spread. Yeah. You got a weekend. <laughs> a little six-day window. You know? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We need y'all to be in attendance. So with that being said, go to officialtrp.com. Get y'all tickets, man. We got a live show with Don't Call Me White Girl. We got an after party at Reserve uh, Lounge celebrating our network signing in this Sunday. The after party at Reserve is turning into a It's turning into thing. a thing. Yeah, it's turning into Second. a thing. If you want a section, reach out. I've been asked about it. Yeah. The sections are actually flying now a little mm -hmm. bit. There are a couple left. We got our section. That's all I care about. We got our section. Uh, some friends of a political person. I don't know if they want us to put yeah, it out yeah, there. Yeah. They got day section. Uh, let's keep it 100 podcast. They got day section. Shout out RB and Mark. Speaking so. of the political, are we still doing political shit earlier that day? Mm -hmm. You sure? 100%. I got, I got a briefing the other day. You and I got a PDF you, you flyer. fill me in. Hey, man, that shit is like... What do you mean you got a PDF flyer? <laughs> yeah, they sent me a flyer. Not of us, but it's just of the day. Like, oh, hey, oh. we doing this. Y'all want to throw this up, throw it up. But yeah, if you don't, I wanna then you know, I ain't know then, then, then chill regular. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? No. Yeah, so there's a, there's a food truck festival going on. Um, I promised them that I would talk about it on the show. Food Trek Festival going on Saturday, August 26th during the daytime, 3 p.m. to 7 p.m. And then that'll lead you right into the live show. You like how I did that segmentation. Ooh. You know what I'm saying? Like how I swung that over there. Yeah. You know what I mean? But the Food Truck Festival put together by Councilman Curtis Jones Jr., Catherine Gilmore Richardson, and State Rep Morgan B. Cephas. Uh, it's going to be food, live entertainment, kids' zone, car show, fast lane boxing, craft tables. That's going to be on 54th Street between Arlington and Montgomery Avenue. No, on 54th. Okay. So we'll be out there. We'll be getting honored by the city for that day for our uh, Living Legend initiative that we actually uh, helped write the legislation on and come up with and awarded it to all the different podcasters in the area. Shout out to everybody that was honored. Mona was an was a, uh, was a honoree. Tom Flies was an honoree. And they're both going to be at the live show on August 26th. So make sure y'all pull up for that. Grab y'all tickets once again. And uh, if you're not on Patreon, get on Patreon. Go to patreon.com slash official TRPE. You get seven days free on Patreon with the VIP, uh, ultra VIP tier subscription. And, uh, you know, you can go back and listen to potentially 300 shows, you know, in seven days. That's on you. You could delete the Patreon, but on that eighth day, I got your ass. Yeah. So, I, you know. I honestly thought we were mentioned. In the no, 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 no. Yeah, it's just, I, was, I just told you I'm just looking general. like, I don't, I don't. Yeah, okay. no. <laughs> <laughs> All right. No, no, no. I did notice that you said Morgan B. Cephas. Well, that, hey, man, if she's switching it up. You know what I've I'm saying? I've never heard that before. Yeah, this is a new one. You know what I mean? Yeah. What's the B for? By following me all the time, crazy boss bitch. <laughs> <laughs> she go hate that. <laughs> boss babe. Yo, motherfucking Morgan B. Morgan. Yeah, I know it's something crazy, boss. But Malice, 
<laughs> Basmati <laughs> rice. Yeah. <laughs> Basmati <laughs> rice. Hey, man. Oh, Lord. But yeah, man. August, <laughs> August 26th. August 26th. I'm just 26. sitting here quiet. <laughs> yeah, because I know I'm going to get the text. Message. That's the fuck up part. I'm gonna get the what, what was so funny? What, 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 what was that even like? And I'm, I'm, hey, listen, Chad. Where? Do your thing. I gotta grab my glasses. I can move around. I feel like Pinocchio right now. I, there's no strings on me. Yeah. Like I can just go wherever I want. You know what I'm saying? And you keep talking. And I can keep talking. You know what I'm saying? Y'all still picking up when oh, I'm yeah, putting Oh, yeah. You can, damn, look. Yeah. I'm about to run down the block. <laughs> <laughs> so I told the bitch. You know what I'm saying? I'm down at the minimum. Yeah, so I was with the bitch down the <laughs> So I tells the bitch, you That's know, shit. either you going to kick in or kick out. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? It's up to you how this thing go down. You picking up when I'm putting down, god damn it. What do you say on Dolomite? Me, you get you can hit the streets of the sheets. You know what I'm saying? No, like, yeah, that's funny as shit. But yeah, man, officialtrp.com. Get your tickets, man. Um, we need y'all in attendance. Yeah, we got. The we need show. all the little Hulkamaniacs in attendance. We, excuse me. We got the live show. We got the goddamn party that night, and then the brunch the next day. It should be fun, man. It should be interesting. Yeah, I was with Dev Tate last night at What the Fork. Shout out to What the Fork. None of the owners was there, but I was. Mm-hmm. Uh, I was with Dev Tate last night. He said he bought two tickets. You know what I'm saying? So he'll be in attendance for anybody ladies that's looking for him or niggas that want to knock him upside the head. <laughs> uh, he'll be there on August 26. Shout out to him. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? just lined you up real fast. You know what I mean? You're welcome for the free promo. <laughs> shout out, shout out Tate Painty. That's how I'm about to start promoting this goddamn event. Any niggas you want to show up? They gonna be there. They already told me they bought tickets. They sent me the confirmation code. He gonna be in row four. <laughs> Any you any hoes you hoes been looking to argue with, they gonna be there. Pull up and argue, goddamn it. Let's you know, know niggas love mess. You know what I mean? You niggas gonna knock his head off. <laughs> shout out to my brother Dev Tate, Tate Payton. Shout out to my brother Kabir, um, Burgess oh, Brothers, man. Burgess Brothers Incorporated. He uh, gave us a great uh idea for a segment. We haven't rolled it out yet, but the realest post of the week. So we combed through social media and found what we deemed to be the realest post of the week and talk about it. I said, damn, that's a great idea. He said, all right, bet. So now that you like it, uh, uh, I need a free sponsorship. <laughs> for the in- I trade you the intellectual all property right, for the sponsorship. Like <laughs> <laughs> Niggas be bartering out here. You know what I'm saying? The barter system still, it's still oh, in you play. Oh, you feel, oh, man, well, I got four more Yo. ideas that I'd gladly trade for some more sponsorship. Yo, that's funny as shit, man. Oh, man. Uh... Can I? Can you, I want to start on a different note because I know we what we doing. We got the yeah. we got the, the the boat dock ride that we never. <laughs> that shit happened like immediately after yes. we left. We got Tory going away for it. We got a lot of shit. Can I start with my y'all weird of the week? Oh man, I love it, Matt, Matt yeah. Iso from the Key. Yo man, listen man. <laughs> First seven minutes. Are you up on this Jamaican raft shit? Oh man. Oh my god. Oh man. <laughs> Oh, I, I, I just want to go on record and say I started the conversation on the Jamaican rap shit about a month and a half ago, and people was retweeting me acting like I was just making this shit up. And I think my tweet something went something along the lines of uh, paying money to go on vacation and have a homeless man Nigger. rub mud on you Nigger. in the swamp is Nigger. a crazy flex. Something I, to that, I, I've been to that effect. I've for years, like... You know, remember Jay was like, it's hard to turn a good girl bad, but once the good girl's <laughs> gone bad, she's gone forever. And I've been saying that, like, once you see that Crisco all over their thighs, <laughs> down in that murky-ass water, it's just like, this bitch ain't normal no more. Like, why would you even want that person in your house? It's just like, yo, y'all live your whole lives as women, which I respect. Yeah. Y'all live your lives with the attitude of, uh-uh, don't touch me. I don't know you don't don't you put your hands on me. Yeah, they, they, don't touch my hair. <laughs> don't don't touch me. Yeah. Which is great. But what the fuck is it about that swampy ass <laughs> Jamaican river that y'all get down there and then the next thing you know, these Jamaicans is all but fisting you. Rubbing on, lard on your ass. <laughs> rubbing shortening on your lower half. What the fuck is it that your all your inhibitions just go completely out the window, yo? Pay my sixty five dollars. This nigga gonna treat me good. I'm gonna get a happy ending. Oh. All kind of shit. I, and you know what's crazy? I, I asked Lee. I'm like, would you ever do that? She was like, fuck no. Yeah. Like for like, remember Hoodlum? Did you touch my family? <laughs> fuck no. <laughs> like I said, fuck no. Like fuck no. Because why the fuck 
or like it, it the, the whole and it's all trendy. It's all tied mm-hmm. to just the trendy. This is the because I said it yesterday. I remember family members and shit going to Jamaica. No one. I don't remember my aunt Doris. Right. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. I don't. Going to Jamaica was like a prestigious thing back like, then. Like I don't. I, my my aunt Katie and them went to Jamaica. I, I could. I would have died if I'd have <laughs> saw my aunt Katie. In a thong. Getting rubbed down on black people yeah, meat. Yo, rubbing fucking Miracle Whip <laughs> on her ass. No, that's a chocolate Miracle Whip right there. You know what I'm saying? Good for your skin. Antioxidants. And that's the crazy part. No one can give you the benefits to this. No. I ain't heard no one be like, yeah, it helps with inflammation. <laughs> or, or arthritis. No, because I had the gout. You know what I'm saying? Ah. Four of the massages got rid of the gout. Yeah, Holistic. Yeah. <laughs> Holistic. Rastafari healing from the earth. It's like we come out the earth, you know what I'm saying? Them nutrients come out Yo, the come out the swamp water. Don't now nobody, I'm, don't nobody tell you about how joint stiffness, <laughs> none of that shit went out the window. How it helped the osteoporosis? None of that shit. <laughs> none of it. It's Ooh. all just tied to trendiness. So over the weekend, a video that ironically, I'm not even on Twitter. <laughs> video video failed you. found me. <laughs> Motherfucker said it to because I, you know, motherfuckers always see yeah. jokes about this shit. <laughs> My homie, like, bro, this is the shit you be talking about. I'm seeing, I'm just like, a. Yo. And I seen Cuddy Ranks raw dick <laughs> rubbing up against that cat. I'm on that. I'm on that, that sweet this, cat. This, this sweet hairy cat <laughs> on a river raft made Yo. out of bamboo, about the raw Yo. diggity in the swamp. He said, "What does a hoe need a pimp for? Because she's a funky down there, right? Dog, dog. There's a video where a woman is on the raft." Laid back. I don't know if she's on ecstasy or uh, oxtail gravy. I don't know what. <laughs> Xanax. Uh, who knows what the fuck is going on? A Xanax with stew chicken gravy. But the 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 river slave is <laughs> like he. <laughs> the, river slave. the river slave is he got meat out. Yeah, meat out. Yo, real quick, them niggas definitely like they got sold into indentured servitude. <laughs> oh, it was like they beat up a kid Yo, when they was man. like 26 and they was like, we sell you to the swamp Yo, service. Meat out. That shit and is like getting sent the nice watch. Yeah. Show on Game of Thrones. <laughs> <laughs> like... <laughs> Yo, man. He is meat out in the river, wading in the water, meat out. And he is Boat just a rocking hardest to jam his dick into this little cock. And he, he, I don't know if, the fact, if she was dry, but he, he like smacked it in the water. <laughs> like losing Get up. some of that earth water on there. <laughs> <laughs> job, job bless me. Get me, job bless me. Get me hot. <laughs> earth water. <laughs> <laughs> and the video may not know if this dick gonna get hot again. No, I don't know if it's her friend recording or his friend friend recording. It's a sick recording. It's though. a sick recording. <laughs> and he pans the video to her face, and she's like, "Get a bag, get a bag or and, something." And and my initial thought was, "Oh, she want a bag to cover her face." No, no. Nah, apparently, this is like what go on with this yeah, shit. Yeah, get a get a, put a bag on that cat. Bag on, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because you know. Jamaica, we barely got enough rice. <laughs> you know, we barely got enough for the for the curry. Man, I told people, I said, yo, outside of the resorts, Jamaica's a third world country. It it's is what world. it is. Yeah, like. That's what, and it's funny, because even when I was asking Lee, like, would you ever do? She's like, fuck no. And I'm like, yeah, like, if I saw pictures of her doing that shit, you might as well just stay in. There's only 17 cents a year to live. You might as well just stay there. Yeah, my girl ain't even Muslim. They gonna have to give her her last rights if, if I see girl, her in one of them viral videos. Why are you in that fucking water in that rap? Getting real kinky. But to see to see the bull really like trying to get it in there, <laughs> and you just like yeah, whatever, just put a bag on yeah, it. He like ain't no bag inside. <laughs> back. Stretch him out. Like to see that is like. Yo, only bag gonna be the one you gotta get the plan B put in at the CVS. <laughs> the only bag in the F. Yo, it, it's just like, and I get it. I, I saw people again, weird, because you see the tweet and you see the comments. I told you I look at comments, I don't mm-hmm. look at posts. You see people like, oh, come on, we all got a pass. <laughs> Who is we to judge? And the bull was like, nigga, I wish I was in the same city as you. I'll knock you the fuck out. <laughs> <laughs> What's their response to him? 
It's <laughs> moments like this that show we have too much empathy and we have uh, we give people too much benefit of the doubt. Uh, Some shit is just scum bucket shit and we just need to call it what it is. Uh, because if society doesn't have a baseline of operation of like a line of morality and we can't differentiate what's at, above, or below the fucking line, then 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 society goes into the fucking shitter. Bro. It, it, it complete it creates complete dysfunction if we can't call out bullshit when we see it. Bruh. Bruh. And yes, we all do have past. The problem is, if you decide to go wade in the water with the Jamaican rebels who are fucking rafting in their off time, right. raise money for, you know, the infantry, whatever. Why is it being filmed and then finding its way to social media? It's just like, yo, there's just, none of this is right. At none all. Of, n- there's nothing in this that's right. Main man straight slap that shit in the water. Bat, 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 bat. <laughs> That'll get it. Like, yo, this is a nasty ass situation. It's like, you, you, what? I, I was perplexed by that. And shit. I'm sure this is somebody's girl or somebody's cousin, somebody's sister, somebody's mom. And it's like, ma'am, are you this down bad? Are you that down bad? Cause I know a nigga out in front of the motherfucking auto zone right now that'll give you some dick. Yeah. He'll at least put a condom on. Yeah, he might even wash up. <laughs> <Right. laughs> he right. can take the groceries out. You know what I'm saying? The garbage out when he's done. This doesn't make no sense. This is the craziest video I ever seen. Like, like getting drilled in the in the in the swamp. <laughs> Is a wild, like that's some shit I didn't. I, I damn sure didn't think that was popping yesterday. Yeah, no. Nah. Like I didn't expect that when I because I went to Harvard Crown, <laughs> had some good dinners. You know what I'm saying? I wasn't expecting that. That shit. I got woken up to that message to 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 that like yo, j- they going crazy in Jamaica. They like yeah, the passport bo- bros and hit them with a Uno reverse. Yeah. I'm like, what the hell is going on? Like, here? I, I wasn't <laughs> expecting that, John. That was a bizarre situation. And my homie was like, yo, it's crazy because like. You you were saying it for a while, like how that 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 rap shit then become like a part of culture, and I'm just like, yeah, and I, I don't remember it from years ago. Yeah, it's you know all it's all kinky dysfunction. Like, I don't know. Man. Like when women, when women, uh, here's a here's the harsh reality, right? Chad, harsh realities with with Chad and TRP. An uh, average woman can pull a far above average man with consistency. Oh, like, it's on. plenty of fives and sixes with niggas that's quote unquote eights, nines, and tens in their fucking DM right now, mm-hmm. offering to spend their money on them, fly them out, whatever the case may be. Whether it be she got some, she, our sex appeal is off the chart, she got some titties, she got a fat ass. Yeah, if, the, <laughs> if the bitch just listens. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, you ever come across a bitch that listens? Yeah. <laughs> Be like, you might want more than that. Yeah, yeah like, for sure. Seriously. Like, she, she's cooperative, whatever it is. Men like women for a, a myriad yeah, of different yeah. reasons. So when we've reached the point where our women, our young women, when I say young, I mean like 20 to 40, are paying for happy endings and shit like that, yeah. we are at an apex of the destruction of fucking society. Because it doesn't make no sense. Considering the amount of sex that women turn down on an average day yeah. from various niggas. Niggas that's unworthy to fucking royal princes from Saudi Arabia. They're turning these niggas down left and right. And then you're going to go pay $65 for the for, for Shabba Rank's cousin, yeah. other cousin who album never came out in the United yeah. States to have sex with you on a raft made out of bamboo? Yeah. Yeah. This is anything. This is anything. Yeah, Matt voice. <laughs> like, this is anything. Jesus Christ, yo. And that's the part that blew my mind. It's like, you didn't you have to pay for the raft ride? Yeah, you had to pay to get here. He yeah. said, someone, I mean, I can't wait to get on that raft. <laughs> 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 I'm going to be rafting like a motherfucker. They ain't never seen a raft yeah. rider like me. Yeah, man. That That's just, it's just dirty. It's trashy. It's just, and then, you know, again, like I said, it's funny because I, I I saw a girl. She does like uh like dance shows, yeah. like like male exotic dance shows, and she had oh, she's a, a real freak. Yeah, and she had a post the other day where she was going off about the fact that like she don't get the support or whatever, whatever. And women is in the comments like, "Sis, we supported you when you were selling food. We just we don't want dick." We <laughs> <laughs> gonna pass on the dick sickles. <laughs> Let us know what you do at Banana Pudding. <laughs> we, we roll out those sweet potato cheesecakes again. Yeah, that was fire. That was fire. We was fucking with we that. We was fucking with that. But it's funny because I'm speaking to women, 
A, a lot of women who are like sensible, they don't even like male dancer shows. Yeah. Because it's like, ill. All a male dancer show is a nigga going fucking start out with a fireman outfit on. <laughs> And then three seconds later, it's going to be dick out. He's sticking it in everybody's martini, trying to get them to suck martini off his piece. That's what a male strip show is. No respectable woman is going to an all-male review. That's a sick bitch. <laughs> what you think about that lemon drop on that dick? Yeah. <laughs> and a bunch of body rolls and then... Yeah. Like, we all saw Magic yeah, Mike. Yeah, you and the big martini shaking the <laughs> Shake these nuts in your martini. See how you like that? Like these peach balls. Yo. Yo. <laughs> like, what are we doing here? Yo, man. Nigga come to the John dressed like Matt Hardy. <laughs> Next thing you know, he in a thong. They like, like, how do we get here? Yeah, but women, a lot of women don't like that shit. And it's just like, yeah, that's again, goes back to the overarching theory of don't touch me. Get away. Yeah. I don't want no man just up yeah, you, me. you oiled up like motherfucking safari paws. You yeah. know what I'm saying? You got this coconut oil going. Oh. You're doing a lot. You know what I'm saying? You got glitter in your dreads. It's like, sir, what are you doing here? <laughs> like, like a man trying to be sexy is some awkward shit it's to watch. Some crazy shit. It's some crazy shit to see. All we supposed to do is Ew. go to work, Ew. motherfucking earn, lead our families, Ew. sacrifice. Ew. You know what I'm saying? Buy some cologne here and there. Ew. Like, we ain't supposed to be sexy like that, Straight yo. Straight up. Straight up. Like, even down to the uh like the 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 you ever see like the uh, silk drawers? Oh man! Yeah, you a sick fucker. They was like, would you ever do that? I'm like, nah, I ain't got it. <laughs> silk drawers and a robe that stop right here and shit. You got the robe <laughs> open, like look like I'm about to paint. <laughs> <laughs> got a damn smock on, like no nah, man. Oh my god, but no, nah, that that's real, and that's what I'm saying. Like the 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 average sensible woman don't want no man touching her. That ain't her man. Yeah, that's not indoctrination. That she's in, you know, in yeah. that space with. There's an indoctrination process you, that you, you go through to you, close the distance you, on a woman you, to you get physical be, with. You ever be in that space with a woman and then fall out of that space and then think you still in that space? Yeah. And you, you greet her and touch her. Skirt! Yeah, like because that's the the way an average woman mind is supposed to work. Yeah. You ain't my nigga or one of my niggas. Keep your hands to yourself. Yeah. So I don't know what the fuck it is about it. I think there's something in that water <laughs> that makes you bitches get knee deep in it. Drink the swamp water. Drink this water. <laughs> right out the hands, too. <laughs> Jaw will bless yeah. you. And next thing you know, you like rub my whole body. Because the, the think about it. I'm, I'm not making this shit up. The average everyday woman walks around with my body is like precious. You got to get to this. Mm -hmm. You got like... So the whole goings ons of a man, like and I saw one joint. The girl was on all her all fours. Yeah, I Strong saw dog. I'm talking about straight Snoop Dogg. <laughs> like the bitch was on all fours, asshole sticking north, and the nigga was rubbing fucking you know. Uh, tartar sauce on her ass. Horseradish. Horseradish all over her cheek. Curry man. Curry man. Like, it's all some sick ass shit, man. I would die if I seen my chick out there doing it. Like, I would literally faint. Like, you are not the person I thought you were. You gotta remove yourself from the internet yeah, after that. Man. Like, whoa. The secondhand embarrassment will be too much for me to like, take. Whoa. Like, Get out of that fucking pond. Like, yeah, you ain't, see, you ain't see the Jamaican boy had your girl in a uh, figure four leg lock mm. rubbing, uh, rubbing, rubbing, um, cocktail sauce on her. Like, god damn. Like, no, I miss that. Yeah, paying, as a woman, paying for a happy ending is crazy. Is like, damn. Literal crazy. insanity. Like, because as a woman, you could realistically, like, have shit and niggas would still yeah. like oh, shit, just go to Lowe's. Yeah, find you a hardworking man. Yo, be like, hey, yo. hey, hardworking man with this tool belt on. You want to give me some dick tonight? Yo, straight up. Yeah, I was about to, you know, build this wall, but yeah. you know, now that you mention it, I can take off. Yeah, they said they need a new roof. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, I can call out. Yeah, because the niggas were passing for work supposed to be all goddamn day long. That's just some sick, twisted shit. But I spoke this week with normal women. And yeah, I, I know, and that's the great part. Like. 
it, you go to the internet and it's almost like you have to then unknow the women you know. <laughs> right. You know what I'm saying? Like I know a, I'm, I'm in a group chat with, with women where it's, I'm the only man. I'm like right. William. <laughs> like, it's like none of them would ever do that shit. No, like and they're all like disgusted by the thought of this shit. So it's just crazy to see when you go to the internet and that's like a normal thing to the point now where you got like celebs and influencers that are pulling up. I saw Angel Reese in the raft order yeah. the other day. Why are you out there? Now you, number one, you're 6'8". We don't have a raft one, that fits you. One, you ankle deep in the water. <laughs> <laughs> no, we got a bamboo two rafts together like, just to have a raft for your big 6'8 ass. Like, get out of the fucking pond and go. I, I, yo, crazy. I, and I love Angel Reese. I love what she did. I haven't seen her with a basketball or sweating since she won the national <laughs> at <game>. all. <laughs> oh, I ain't seen Angel Reese do jack shit basketball related. The successful that. at something tangible to influence her pipeline is crazy right yo, now. Yo, straight up. Oh, you good at basketball? Influencer. Oh, you good at taxes? Influencer. Yo. It's to the point now where because influencer culture is so prevalent, you think about this. And I'm not doing it today because whatever. But if we, if I decided right now to take you and Big Dan, right? Mm -hmm. And I gave you all five vacation spots, right? I gave you Miami, Jamaica, Tulum, Vegas, Dubai, right? Mm -hmm. All of us have been at, at, to one of those places at one point or a time. Yeah. If, if one of us hasn't, somebody in this room has been to those five. Right. Miami, Tulum, what I say? Uh, Vegas. Vegas. Jamaica and Dubai. And Dubai. If I was to tell all three of us without looking to write down the five things you know to do from social media in those five vacation spots, I think there'd be serious overlap. Yeah. Because everything now is the follow the trend of what. Yeah, the it's a checklist. Is. If you it's don't like do these checklist. things, if you don't do these things, you didn't have a lit trip. Bingo. 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 And I talk to people and it's just like, you know, there's like, a, I remember when me and Lee went to Miami, we was in Coconut Grove. Then we went to the shoot em up. I remember when I posted the joint, the loading, locked and loaded. Motherfuckers was hitting me like, where is that at? I'm like, it's in Miami. And they're like, it, where? Like, it's close to the beach? I'm like, no, nigga. It's to, close to the beach? I'm like, you have to leave and go to other parts of Miami. Like, it's, you know, it's other parts. Like, Philadelphia has like the Northeast, exactly. Center City, Roxborough. Like, there are other parts of this city. But it's like all y'all know is wet willies and scooters. You know, mm -hmm. water ice scooters. You know, you, you it should big pink for breakfast. Remember that was it? Like it's all these cultural things that you yep. just learned from the internet. So it's like that Jamaica rap shit. I was saying it yesterday. I remember going to like Ocho's Rios was like you went to Mars. Right. Like, whoa, <laughs> you went up. to the ocean. <laughs> you went to the ocean. Oh, you went to Big Jamaica. Big Jamaica, <laughs> yeah, straight up. And now it's just like follow the trends or whatever you see on social media is fucking crazy. Like, yeah, thank God. I just want to, uh, you know, uh, thank, thank a law that uh, none of my sisters or cousins or women I care about in my family have been uh, spotted on them rafts getting rubbed down uh, with liquid metal or whatever the hell it is that they using over there. So I just want to thank all of them for not embarrassing our family legacy that way. I appreciate y'all and I love y'all. Straight up, man. But let's start the show where we wanted to start the show. Boy, niggas was whipping ass down there in Alabama. We got to talk about it. Oh, I got, got, got a theme music. Oh, you got it? Stop playing with these niggas. How we sound, Dan? Hey, I'm really proud of y'all. Montgomery Brawl. Bitch. Not one, but a mall. Montgomery Brawl. Shout out, bro, that could swim. Montgomery Brawl. Who shit really all of them? Montgomery Brawl. Shout out, one with the chair. Montgomery Brawl. Everybody that was there. All right. Montgomery Brawl went down, man. Uh... I believe it was August 5th it went down. The videos and all of that started servicing last Sunday, August 6th. Uh, I'm, I'm pinging. All right, so yeah, so the video started surfacing on August 6th, and essentially the Montgomery brawl has gone down in the annals of black history of black unity, uh, community activism. Bruh. Uh, uh, what, 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 what else? I, I'm going to what, what other reparations? Rever <laughs> like, <laughs> reparations uh, yeah. Fuck around and finding out for, for them crackers. And it's one of the few times in history where white people kicked off some shit. Black people in turn whooped ass and the white people got held accountable yeah. as far as the legal ramifications of the situation for being agitators and instigators in the situation. So I walked in the house 
Lee was on the on the couch looking at her phone. Okay. And it was loud as shit. The video, yeah. she was just screaming, and she she's always watching something on TikTok or you whatever. And I just I heard it. Walked in the bathroom. I heard it again. Came out the bathroom. I'm, I'm like, yo, what are you watching? She was like, this crazy ass fight that happened in Alabama. And I'm like, who? What? Is, when she said Alabama, I'm like, was it rich boy? And and like, you know, I'm thinking like, who? Who is it? And she's like. No, it was like these black people on a boat. They was trying to park the boat like one of those like Spirit of Philadelphia <laughs> things. And they rolled on the black boat worker and all yeah. the black people got off the boat and just came down the dock. She's like, they were swimming to the fight. I'm like, hold on. Swimming to the fight? What the fuck are you talking about? So then she showed it to me and I'm just, what? I'm like, you know, I'm like, yo, like, what the fuck? I'm like, yo, what do you mean they were swimming to the fight? Yeah. Nigga, I'm like, yo, when I watched it, you know what I'm saying? It was like, <laughs> what the fuck? Like, the nigga dead ass mm. swam across the joint. You know what I'm saying? So they catching wreck. <laughs> like, it reminded me of, there was a viral video uh, that some shit that took place in Philly a couple years ago. You might remember it. Somebody was uh, was 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 driving past, like, through a neighborhood, and they seen a nigga getting jumped. And they was like, oh, yeah, yeah, no, this nigga yeah, raped my sister. He was like, he raped your sister. <laughs> oh, man, I got to get some of this. And yeah, jumped out the yeah, car and started fucking more up, and then jumped back in the car. His girl was like, get in the car. I'm having too much fun. <laughs> <laughs> this girl's like, get in the car. <laughs> yeah, the um, the, apparently the umbo who swam across the gym was 16 years old. Oh man, he was a child. You know what I'm saying? Catch a major wreck. Yeah, he swam across the the little water there, and crazy part what is he took his boots off after he got out. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. After he got out, he <laughs> removed his boots, and then they started. Whew. What was your favorite three parts of the video? So the the Bobby, the, are. the Bobby Schmurder hat throw, the the, the, the <laughs> kick it all, which was like <laughs> the unofficial signal to the, you know to the black got, community uh, to assemble. The, uh, they got T-shirts <laughs> with him throwing a hat in the air now. That's like a thing. So that's number one. Um, it's gonna sound bad, but fuck it. Home girl in the light blue getting melted like four times in a row had me on the floor. Cause I guess she caught herself trying to defend her boyfriend and them niggas was not having nobody that was defending uh, none of the, the none of the, the, the original perpetrators. That shit took me out. The three, the, the crazy part is the three white people that courted the worst was all women. All women. And like the men kind of like got their ass whipped, but the women, it was like. The, the one girl got speed beat and then she tossed oh, her in the river. river. <laughs> <laughs> it's tossed her in the river. <laughs> And toss her in the river. The girl who beat her speak looked like Leslie Jones <laughs> from, the, from the jaw. That shit was crazy. As Speed fun. beat the shit out of her, and of course, Unk with the chair, man. I don't know where Unk got the chair from, but he turned that shit from a simple Royal Rumble match to tables, ladders, and chairs in an instant. And he went to work with that chair. Uh, the white, the white girl got Speed beat and thrown in the river. Uh, big red grandma who got hit with the chair. <laughs> And the white boy who dove out of the out of the getting rolled on. He said, "Oh no!" Dove, dove. <laughs> I said the other day, if you're ever in a situation that you're getting your ass whipped and your only resolution <laughs> is to dive head first into a river, <laughs> it's like damn. There's too much pressure on the dock. There's too much <laughs> shit going down on land. I got. <laughs> Like, yo, I ain't never been in a fight and just have the Gordon Phillips my way up out of this, y'all. Like, fuck this. I have a question, and maybe y'all can help me with this. My question is, where were... Where did the ferry return from where it was like every nigga on board didn't have a shirt on? (laughs) (laughs) Like, what was going on on the ferry that it was like shirts optional? I said the other day, what kind of ferry was it where you get this many niggas... (laughs) Who are ready to ride at the drop of a dime. In broad daylight. Like, my man was like, you know how here we got, like, vans that go to prison? They probably use ferries. <laughs> that was a just coming home ferry. That was from the fucking... From the prison. Taking niggas and see niggas in jail. We can take the ferry up and go see bro. It was a mass release. <laughs> That shit was insane, yo. Yo, the funniest part, when the mayor got on the mic, they was like, yeah, man, we're not gonna have a, 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 a speech or a press release from the mayor. The mayor walked out to the mic and was like, whew, all right. <laughs> <laughs> Montgomery Brawl. Yo, 
They were like, I don't know what the fuck to say. They was fucking tweaking out. That joint went down to history. Yo, uh, the cops legitimately was just like, we don't know what to do. Yeah. And you know, cops for the most part just imply authority. No matter what the issue is, we we know we can imply authority whenever. Mm -hmm. But it was so much chaos. (laughs) And they were legit like, you could tell because you could hear the people like, they started it, they started it, they started it. Yeah. But where it's just like, yo, what's happening right now? And that's the way the cops was just kind of looking around. And the cops was basically like, you know what? Do y'all thing. Just don't take it too far. Right. That's why when old head board the chair and smacked us out there. Oh, I got you, man. Behind your back, nigga. Man. <laughs> like, at, that was... Whew. Somehow, some way, he wiggled out of the on-the-spot arrest. Oh, he did? And they put out a press release once they did the video recognition and all of that to figure out who he was, and then they issued a warrant, and then he turned himself in. Ah. But he was on the lam. He was, he was, he was in the mix. Up. Yeah. He, he, was, he was in the mix. You know what I'm saying? So it was just one of them drawings where it was just like, yo, it was so many different things transpiring all at one time that you just like, holy yeah. shit. Shit, like what the fuck is going on here? It was a crazy day. It was a crazy wild joint. And like you said, at the end of it, they really locked up all the way the whole there. family. So apparently it was like one whole family. Yes. You know what I'm saying? The um And they said the ferry was waiting for like 44 minutes or some shit like that. That's yeah. that's what caused yeah. the whole everything. Yeah. Like we've and, been asked y'all to move. Yeah, the end of the day, man, it, and you know, I I I I understood it and I felt for the worker. Because I, I, I understand and, and, and empathize with that. Yeah. Like, you're at work, and you're trying to be understanding. You're trying to be reasonable because your job is like, yo, you better show some, you know, you better show some professionalism. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? You won't get fired for not being professional. And he's like, yo, please just move the boat. Yeah, I've been here for 40 minutes. Like, all y'all got to do is move the boat up. Why is this such a thing? To the point where he moved the boat up. He moved the boat up with a paddle. Yeah. And it's just like, I don't know what kind of Abraham <laughs> shit you was on, but he moved the shit with a paddle. What type of planks you been yeah. doing this past week? <laughs> Straight up. Your core is amazing, <laughs> nigga. Like, but he moved the boat with a paddle, and they literally came back like, why the fuck you touch our boat? And he literally is trying to reckon with him and explain it. He can't just haul off and tee off on him. Even after the first one kneed him and pushed him and he fell, and he got up and started to fight back. Yeah. When the second one came and jumped on his back, then the girl started. And that's the crazy part. People was like, they had to do that to the girls. I'm like, the girls was in him. Right. Y'all in it. Y'all in it. Welcome. Yeah. Like, that's just and like, then y'all kept inserting yourselves back in it because y'all called y'all trying to protect, you know what I'm saying? Y'all, y'all boyfriends, y'all husbands, whatever, y'all brothers, whatever the fucking case may be. Yeah. And everybody got treated. It was just, it was a bad job all the way around, man. Straight up. My favorite part of all of this, the aftermath was, did you see the video of the guy that got beat up? The, I guess the brother or whatever. And he was like, he's on TikTok and he was like, He's got the fucking two black eyes. He look like a raccoon. He got the shit in the, oh, the t- he got the tissue in his nose, blood in his mouth, and he's like, turns out that 65-year-old man can really fucking <laughs> throw him. <laughs> <laughs> and then the TikTok just cuts off. <laughs> turns out that 65-year-old man can really throw him. <laughs> but he got the fucking shit in his nose, so it's real nasally. Turns out, out that 65-year-old man can really turns, fucking throw him. Turns out he can really throw him. That's funny as shit, man. Yeah, end of the day, they uh they whipped some good ass down there. You know what I'm saying? That was a quality beating. And w- something that one of my friends brought up was like, what is it that made it such a, a like, <sighs> yeah. moment? And I'm like, I'm going to keep it a buck with you, yo. And I know nobody probably wants to hear this, but niggas have been beaten down so bad. Yeah. We've had so many systemic issues. We've had so, not trying to be funny. Do you understand that if this situation, this same situation happened 170 years ago. Niggas get hanged. Niggas get hung by yeah. that. Like, so, end of the day, it just was like, to see niggas whipping that much white ass, yeah. and and they, like, did you see the nigga who was posing in the middle of this? <laughs> <laughs> nigga taking pictures. Yeah. It was just like, damn. And I told him, the best part of it is, you can rewatch it because he 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 was like people are mad that because like, one of the girls she got like flamed apparently on Twitter because mm-hmm. she was like, all right, when is we gonna be done with it? Yeah. And the boy was like, never, bitch. Because <laughs> like, and it's funny because I was saying to him, you can rewatch it 
over and over and over again, and you focus in on, on a different one part. person yeah. and only watch them for the entire video. Mm -hmm. That's how I found the ball jumping into the river. Yeah. I'm like, look at this motherfucker right here. Did, did, <laughs> did you peep that as the week went on, the videos got progressively clearer? Clear. It got to the point where that shit was HD. Yeah, was HD. <laughs> yeah. The, at the end of the joint, did you notice the one cop shoved the white the white lady when he was trying to book the yeah. nigga? The white lady came in, he's like, yes, 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 your ass. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you something. Get your ass back. But apparently that family owns like some mini marts or something mm. down there. And they were saying how the um people were boycotting them. Yeah, I know they was they did the Yelp bomb shit and all of that shit. Yeah, and the, um, you know, the end of the day, yo, people are like. Black people been through a lot of shit. Yeah. So sometimes, yo, you like, you know, I said it the other day, like, reparations probably ain't coming. Right. It's just probably not. We can go ahead and cancel that. We can go ahead and <laughs> try to figure some other things out. You know, that, that's probably not coming. But it, to see that, that, like, understand that, like, there, there's no right or wrong, but there's, like, an unwritten, like, not trying to be funny for as much shit as y'all like giving Tupac, let's keep it real. Pac shot them cops. Yeah. Because they was fucking with a black person. Yep. He just pulled up like, wait, what's going they on? Pulled up, what's going on? Dear, I'm going to turn, turn, keep your head <laughs> down. turn this digital underground yeah. down and see what the fuck is going on right here. Turn this down. Let them cops the fuck yeah, up. At the end of the day, Pac pulled up and saw black people getting accosted by white cops who were, you know, they were drunk. Yeah. They were like under the influence and shit. Yeah. And Pac got out there and shot them cops. So... Sometimes, you know, it's just, that's the way it go. Like, we have an unwritten thing where it's like, you black, I'm black, and I don't know if people really understand that, but, like, you ever be somewhere and it's just hella white and you see somebody black and y'all just look at each other like, all right, now? Yeah, like, watch, watch your back. Yeah. <laughs> and you you kind of in that moment, like, all right, I got, I got my man. I, yeah, but kick off with the race war, jump off. I got my man. I got, I got an ally. Yeah, I got my guy. What's I know name? I can fuck Fred up over yeah. here. What's your name, boss? Like, <laughs> you got somebody in. And to see it in that manner, yeah. where they were coming from high, from low, to see main man swim. Like I said it the other day, do you know how angry you got to be to swim to a rumble? Swim to the rumble. I'm not working out on my way to the fight. <laughs> and I work out. I'm not, I'm not. If I, like, you, you nigga, when I, I'll tell you right now, I'm this motherfucker here, guys and nigga, <laughs> your ass, like. I'm not swimming across a lake for the rumble. No, nah, he was intense. But you you really got to feel a way to, like, go after somebody yes, in that manner. And it wasn't, he don't know him. Yeah. I don't know him. He just a black man out here, and y'all not going to jump on him. Fuck that. Yep. And that was, it was beautiful. Yeah. And I know I know we got white fans, and I know, because, you know, I've, I've heard little rumblings and shit, and it's just like, it ain't even no racist shit. It ain't even on no race shit. It's yeah. just like... It was dope to see people you know that were like your people. Yeah. In, and they ain't your people. Yeah. That was just cool to they see. They showed up and showed out. And to your earlier point, I don't know that seven years ago in Montgomery, Alabama, niggas don't get hanged for some yeah. shit like this. Yeah. Because the whole George Floyd situation flipped the script and changed the lens on how people view certain situations like this. And with that in mind, it's like, we gonna lock up the, the people that kick this off and not the people that reacted to what the fuck they did. Right, right, right. So kudos to law enforcement for getting it right for once in motherfucking life and holding the people that started all of this shit accountable. Straight up and down. It was it was wonderful to watch. I, I I'm still watching. Yeah, soup to soup to nuts. It was yeah. it was magnifique. It was it was perfect. You know. End of the day, man, y'all y'all hit that man and y'all assaulted that man and y'all jumped on that man. Y'all mamas and y'all me mamas and y'all sisters and <laughs> yeah. all of that jumped in and started doing shit that didn't have to be done. You bought that. You yep. know what I'm saying? Y'all bought that. They gave your ass a receipt and your change. You got, <laughs> you, got to, you got to go ahead. It's yours. You know what I'm saying? Yes, indeed. So shout out to all them down there in Alabama. Uh, what else was prevalent this week? Tory Lanez, man. They oh, they gave they gave him a dom. Ah, oh, beloved. Uh, yeah, but be beloved. Ah, oh, uh, beloved. I, I want to say this, man. Um, I've been very vocal from years ago when this kicked off that I thought like Tory Lanez was guilty and that he was moving very shaky as it related to this whole situation and 
he was legally setting up himself to take the fall for this you shit. You know what's funny is, listening back to the show that we did with Mona, the first one, yeah. you were like flaming mad that me and Mona didn't care. Yeah. That like, because we was like, Tori, you take was high. <laughs> and you just like, you can't fucking shoot a fuck. <laughs> in, 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 the, in the city of Los Angeles, in the state of California, agree with me, you can't shoot a pop star. Yeah. You know what I mean? And he laid out all of these different breadcrumbs over the last three years to make it to where what happened to him was almost like expected. Yeah. Where it's like Tony Yayo said the most straightforward and realest shit you can say about this situation, which is I've never seen a situation where somebody got accused of shooting somebody. The person that they allegedly shot is alive and they're going to trial. They're, you should be actively trying to take a plea deal for this because going to trial, you're going to get fried. You have a person saying, this person shot me. Mm -hmm. You can't come to trial and fight that. Yeah. You just fucking can't. Can it we pause for a second? I gotta go to the bathroom. All right, you can't, like, gotta go. All right. Saturday, August 26th, Sunday, August 27th, TRP weekend. Uh, live show star Mona after party Mona the whole don't call me white girl crew was popping out with us at reserve make sure y'all there for that um, and then Sunday we got TRP nation brunch tickets are starting to actually pick up for that so shout out to everybody that got y'all tickets already go to official trpe.com grab your tickets to everything we want to see y'all in attendance in the building man shout out to 14th and Margaret for sponsoring the whole situation and empowering us to do what we do if you're not on Patreon get on Patreon right now seven day free trial on the VIP tier patreon.com slash official TRP yeah, so it's like, you know, that very simple, straightforward, um, you know, notion of like, yo, why would you push through with a case where there's an overwhelming amount of evidence, there's an overwhelming amount of, you know, uh, conjecture and all of that and public discourse that's mm -hmm. going on and unfolding with this. And it's like just through the process of elimination, if it's four people in the car, we know the driver didn't do it. We know the girl didn't shoot herself. And then you went on Instagram and said that Kelsey didn't do it. But, and Kelsey fucking called the uh, the management team and said, oh my God, Tori shot Meg. Like the process of elimination all points to you. And it's like as phenomenal as Playboy album was, I'm not going to sit here and pretend that this motherfucker doesn't at least look very guilty whether he did it or not. It's like, but if you can't offer up a reasonable alternative to you being the trigger man, then I don't know like what to tell you. You know what I mean? And it's a situation where one, if he had a good attorney, once Kelsey uh, explores the immunity option on the stand and the state attorney and the judge and all that confer that she has global immunity and all that, it can't be prosecuted for what she said, his attorney is supposed to rip her to shreds right. and cross. And, and try to pull out all of the missing elements of was there a fight? Um, were, were y'all all having sex with Tori? Is that the, the cause of this? Has Megan done this to you before? Blah, blah, blah. And his attorney had the wide open lane to do that and let her off the hook. So it was like the number one grounds, if I was him, that I'm filing for an appeal on is ineffective legal counsel. Yeah. And just the simple fact that his original attorney, the female that worked on the OJ trial or whatever, she was a much more equipped attorney to handle this, but I guess he disagreed with her legal strategy. And because of that, he, she dis he disagreed with her legal strategy and recused her from the case because of that and went with a much less experienced attorney. Right. And when you're fighting for your life, you got to bring the fight for my life legal team. Right. Not like LA's rising star fucking uh, yeah. homeowners association attorney or whatever the fuck <laughs> George was like, you just, you just can't do that. And if you got to go broke defending your freedom, that's what the fuck you got to do. Yeah. Or just not shoot Meg Thee Stallion in the foot outside of Kylie Jenner's house. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. They gave a boy 10 years. Um, He'll probably do something in the long, in the five, five, five six range. Six. He already got credit for 305 days in yeah, as of yeah. the sentence indeed. Um, you know, does bring everything to a halt as far as, you know, everything you were doing. Yeah. Now, granted, your back catalog will get a boost because... A crazy you know, boost. You know, you, that's just the way it go. So there'll be money generated. And, and I would hope that you have, you know, you use the last three years when you... Two and a half years when you were out to record as much music as humanly possible so that you can have a, a catalog circ in circulation while I, you're you in know, jail. I, I, don't, I hate to be that guy, but he has a big following and he has yeah. a lot of people who are... Like, not fucking with the belief that he shot Meg. Yeah. So as crazy as it sounds, he's still going to have a following, if not a bigger following. I tried to explain this to all of y'all. Look at Gunna. Yeah. Gunna literally is 
doing better than he probably has ever been doing. It is just the way. Did you see the video of the dude running up on him and leaving? Yeah, him? that was so weird. And it's just like nigga gunning a rat. Yeah, and then gunning the gun. All of that for his security. Like, what you say? What you say, say? again? I, I so said, I said nigga, nigga Gunner. What else you what say? Else you say? What, I said. what I said. It's just like, y'all are going out sad. But like, they, and that nigga was 48 years old or something like that. Like, <laughs> he looked like he was drinking some old English or some uh some some wild Irish rose. And yeah. he he got he got the courage to try to, you know, treat this man like he a person in a fishbowl. And at the end of the day, he's still a man. Yeah. He still has people that are employed and dispatched to deal with hecklers and goofy oh. motherfuckers like you. So as much as you might not be condoning or wit or whatever, you run up thinking you about to make a statement, you end up looking like a complete goofy. Yep. You look goofier than the nigga you think is the goofy in the situation. How does that work? And in the name of clout, the motherfucker still posted it. You took the L here you and you still posted it. You took the L and still posted this shit. Oh man, I'm going to get my shit off. Yeah, Fuck I, that. You could just delete this. Let them know Big Earl from Arkansas Listen, ain't with that rat shit. Let them know. <laughs> like, what, are you, what are you doing? Like... Big girl from Arkansas. <laughs> hey, what the hey, fuck are you doing? Speaking about old English, have you been paying attention to the hip hop's fifty years? Yes, man. Yo, man, old English has done a number <laughs> on our pioneers, man. Shane don't got none of these. Dog, Shane. The whole top row, he's just whistling. <laughs> Shane didn't bring a tooth <laughs> to the hip hop pioneers uh, luncheon. Uh, <sighs> rap is one of those things where you get in and you make as much money as possible. The way I look at rap is the same way I look at independent contractors as opposed to somebody taking a job with a pension. Right. As an independent contractor, you should make a boatload of money, more money than most people make, and then you should invest that money in other things and set up to when you're not making that money. Right. Either. As opposed to the average person who goes to work every day for 35 years and then you retire and it's like, here goes enough money to pay your bills till you die. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And pioneers of rap they were like independent contractors. They legitimately came in at a time period where there wasn't a lot of money generated. Right. And the little bit of money that was generated went to Jerry Heller, David Geffen, you know, <laughs> exactly. the, you know yeah. the guys. You the, know what the, I'm the usual suspects. The usual suspects. <laughs> and seeing our pioneers of rap and seeing it just how like life has hit them. I'm talking about, because you know you were living that party lifestyle. Mm -hmm. Drinking Old English till you black out. Shooting dice till four in the morning. Smoking mad tie, la and tie and all of that shit. And then turbos later on. <laughs> and, and you see that like, yo, they're, they don't have like, it, 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 they all look pretty bad. Yeah, um, very few if any of them save for a rainy day. Like not trying to be funny. You know Jay-Z is only three years older than Melly Mel. I mean, three years younger than Melly Mel. Yeah. Him and LL are like the I'm same. I'm sorry, MC, MC Shan. Yeah. Jay-Z is three years younger than MC Shan. Yeah. Jay and, and uh, MC, LL are like the same age. Dog, Jay looks like, <laughs> uh, and I make jokes all the time about him being 75, but it's like, Jay don't look 75. No. Nas is literally like four years younger than Jay. Nas looks like he's 28. Yeah. <laughs> that nigga look like a 20 year old. Money will keep you young, won't it? Money will keep you young <laughs> shit. <laughs> Oh. Jay-Z been young ho for 38 years. Oh, I get some money. I'm getting hair. <laughs> oh, all that shit back in effect. Like, dead ass, when you see these guys and you, you really, like, let it sink in. Like, seeing Cool G rap come out on the stage, I'm just like, yo, G rap look crazy, yo. Yeah. Like, the pioneers of rap, man, they, they, they caught a bad break. No, they did. And it's like, you know, the, the cream out of that class of those golden age rappers and all of that, the cream has risen because Rakim is still viable. He got a song right now with Lotto. Uh, Big Daddy Kane is still touring, getting 10 to 20,000 a night. And he's still viable. And he got a crazy pop at the BET Awards. It's like certain people that made that timeless music, that th those classic records and all of that shit, their shit sustained itself over a certain amount of time, even though it only existed in like a five or six year window. They did enough for it to be sustainable for 30 plus more years. But the ones that didn't, it's like, yo, they all the way like down on their dicks. I just looked it up. G-Rap is the same age as old. That's crazy. Niggas is peers. Yeah. Yeah. Straight peer. And, but, and it's crazy because you don't even look at Nas or Jay or Snoop or any of them in that class of no. like those guys. 
But they dead ass, dead ass, yo. When I went and looked it up, I'm like, yo, Jay really only three years younger than Shan. <laughs> but Shan seems like an entire generation mm -hmm. away. Think about it. Yeah. Because Jay Z's spark was 98. Right. Shan, Queen the Bridge was over in 86. <laughs> <laughs> like, how did this happen? <laughs> Where y'all only three years apart, yeah. but your careers are from two completely different time periods in life. And the thing is, Crazy as fuck, and the man. thing is, it's like there's so much of peers. Like Jay would have been like a sophomore in high school when Shan was a senior. Exactly. <laughs> like exactly. it's like y'all are direct peer. Y'all would have at any level of fucking uh like educational process, y'all would have been directly in the throes of one another. I saw a video the other day, and it, it was like it was like man performing special ed. I got it made, and I'm watching it. I low key, I thought it was like like one of those like. River workers from Jamaica. Yeah. And he was performing the shit and the people was in the joint like, damn, Ed still got it a little bit. I'm like, wait, that is <laughs> special Ed. God damn. <laughs> like, what in the world? Like, they the 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 pioneers, man, I I my heart, it breaks for them sometimes. Yeah. Because it's like they didn't get to live the wild ass, you know, like look at now. You get one hit, you set. Ice Spice had literally had one record. She had Munch, and she was able to negotiate a $7 million record deal and a cut of her masters out the gate mm -hmm. with Universal Motel. And now she's on her, like, eighth or ninth smash. I yeah. saw her Her uh, monthly Spotify listeners is higher than, like, Meg Thee Stallion. Yeah. It's higher than Cardi B right now. I'm she just like, got the Billboard Rookie of the Year. Mm -hmm. I'm like, yo, the year's not over. They like, yeah, this shit is wrapped yeah. up. <laughs> she eight for eight on top tens yeah. on Billboard. Yeah. This shit is a wrap. Yeah. Nobody is coming out and doing it. Straight up. I, I feel bad for the pioneers where it's just like, they exist. Damn. They existed in a dead ball era. I watched the Ice T Origins of Hip Hop the other day. Yeah. Yo, it was so much, like, bad jewelry. Because you know them 80s niggas wear that, like, those... 78 millimeter <laughs> watches. Yeah. And they were those real big, nasty Cubans. You know what I'm talking about? And I'm just looking at them like. Yeah, that ain't no Miami Cuban. That's just a Cuban. Nah, that's, that's a Cuban Cuban. Yeah, that's a Minnesota Cuban. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, the, the, the hip hop 50. And, you know, I get it, man. You know, it's been 50 years. You know, hip hop is 50 years old. I, th I think I'm, I'm, I'm over it. And you know what I saw the other day? People are like mad that Jay Z didn't like attend none of the festivals. Yeah, I saw that. And Jay is like, well, it's hard to attend that shit when I got a meeting tomorrow with American Express. <laughs> right. You know, I'm being serious. Dead serious. Dead the 4040 at the Barclays Center is presented by American Express. I got a meeting tomorrow <laughs> with Visa, nigga. <laughs> like, I can't come to this shit, y'all. Y'all, for Melly Mel. And did you hear Melly Mel this for Eminem? Man, Melly Mel brought out the 77 flow. <laughs> and use a sucker and use a chunk. <laughs> and if you run into Melly Mel, you get lumped. And it's like, what is, like wait, what is... Like, oh, what, is, like what in the hot tub time machine he, is going on here? He said, you done made Melly Mel pick up his pen. That boy Eminem on drugs again. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is this? <laughs> Yo, man. <laughs> I'm creeping. I've fuck never out. seen somebody be so instrumental. Oh, I've never seen somebody be so instrumental <sighs> in the advancement of a culture where once upon a time, Melly Mel was the elite pen. He was with Grandmaster. He Red. was Grandmaster. He yeah. wrote the message. He wrote the message. Yo, he yo. wrote the most important yeah. rap record of the decade. Yeah. Shit, the first 20? The first 20. It's either that or Sugar Hill Gang. And like, now... He's a meme. Yo, like, he's, Melly Mel is a literal meme, yo. That nigga got the Ra's Ghoul mustache. Yo. He be wearing them crazy <laughs> muscle shirts. He got a fedora that matched the muscle shirts. Yo, like, Ra's <laughs> <laughs> What the fuck? <laughs> he, he look like he run the League of yo. Shadows. Somebody, the whole center of the mustache is no mustache. Facebook was like, yo, when they do the Black Power Rangers, they got to make Melly Mel Zordon. And <laughs> <laughs> put him in the glass. <laughs> I'm like, yo, man, <laughs> Melly Mel look crazy. Get shit. Melly Mel the fuck out of here. I had the displeasure of watching like 14 clips oh. of Melly Mel hate on every rapper on yo, earth. Oh, the Vlad shit? No, it was uh, Cam Capone News. Capone, yeah, yeah, yeah. Or the Art of Dialogue, one of them. They yeah. the same fucking show. He hated on Jay-Z, Tupac, yo. Uh, Drake, yo. Eminem. I, I say, yo, who, did you, who do you like? 
Yo, man. Melly Mel and Dr. J are the same nigga. No. Different sports. Yeah. Rap, yeah. basketball, they the same nigga, just completely no. out of touch. Melly Mel, dead ass. The, 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 the dude, he do like, um, like I guess like reaction videos on yeah. YouTube to like tracks to music or whatever. And he got like a big jaw. He, he, he was like, it, it came up on my Facebook like, uh, like it's the reels. Yeah. Like so-and-so reacts to Melly Mel's diss track. And I cut it on. He, he played a little bit of it. And he was like, Jamming with it, and he like, ooh, like he was doing like doing the faces whenever <laughs> Melly Mel finish a punchline. He like, oh, okay, okay, and it got done or whatever. He was like, yeah, all that I was doing was fake. That's the worst thing I've ever heard in my life. He's like, I'm going as far as saying Melly Mel has dropped the worst diss track <laughs> of all time. History, yo. That joint, you definitely right. He pulled out the 1979, like the yes. first rap, the first flow. flow. Yeah, because that you had the initial flow. And then, which is the Sugar Hill slash yeah. Grandmaster Flash and the Curious Five flow. Then Modi changed the flow. Mm -hmm. Then uh, LL, changed the LL, flow. LL changed the flow. Then Kane changed the flow. And then Rakim changed the flow that Nas adopted. And then that became the standard for a long time. To be all the way fair, Big Daddy Kane is in the same name as like Hov and Biggie. Yes. He was like that. And Rakim was like Nas, all of them, AZ, yeah. and everybody else. So. Yeah, it just it's crazy to see Melly Mel bring out the initial like he really said that. Y'all done made Melly Mel pick up his pick. <laughs> <laughs> Silly as shit. You got anything else you want to No, he about? probably had a coast to coast reference yeah. in that show. Like old, old old school rappers love talking about something was happening coast to coast. Yeah, oh, I got the people rocking all over the world. <laughs> <laughs> oh, like the people in your house not even rocking to this. Like what are you talking about all over the world, Melly Mel? What the fuck is wrong with you? Yo, man, I'm cramping up. I need a water. <laughs> Melly, no, Melly, no, I'm crazy as shit, man. Yo, man, people in your house. <laughs> yo, dad, you recording? Turn that shit off, yo. Because I know that's home studio work. Yo, man. <laughs> He's setting up Damn. the laptop. He's like, how you work this shit? Show me how to. <laughs> Come out here, son. Show me how to set up the Pro Tools, man. I'm about to let this sucker know what's yeah, going right, on. We're white boy talking <laughs> crazy. This <laughs> honky talking crazy to the God. <laughs> I guarantee you, like, Redhead Kingpin is in his top 10 MCs and some shit. <laughs> Yo, man. <laughs> Tracy G from the Bronx, you know what I'm saying? You gotta give it to Tracy G. Like, he Yo. could be naming mad obscure rappers. Oh, my God, <laughs> man. Like, he's a wild bull. I gotta play some of this. <laughs> That's another one from the first generation, Pee Wee Herman reference. Always a Pee Wee Herman reference. <laughs> Get Melly Yo, Mel out of here, man. He said, you the piss on the elevator floor of the rap game. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking nonsense. <laughs> Yo, because you know niggas, left, they never left the project. Yeah, so. no. <laughs> that's, that's no, easy. we live here. We, we in that's here. That's an easy bar. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh. Are they just coming into this show, or are we doing a whole No, nah, we can cut a whole other one. Okay. You got anything else? I got me? nothing else for this, man. Uh, oh, make sure y'all go to officialtrp.com. Get y'all tickets, man, to the weekend. We got another special <sighs> show coming up for y'all. Dropping immediately after this, man. One day, two episodes. Uh, shout out to everybody that's already got their tickets. If y'all don't, again, go to officialtrp.com. Also, go to patreon.com slash officialtrpe. Free, free, free seven-day trial with all new memberships on the VIP tier. Everything that we do is powered, empowered by, and sponsored by 14th and Market, the number one black advertisement and marketing agency in the world. Shout out Jay Petty, shout out uh, Jim Money, and the whole team at 14th and Market for supporting TRPE and Absolutely. everything that we do, man. We love y'all. We appreciate y'all. We out.